are missing some notes. Okay? It can never be a whole melodic line if you're missing some notes. So during the time of rehearsal, that is the time that you shape the music. You shape what you have practiced. So again, please do quit practicing at rehearsal because iba ang rehearsal, iba ang practices. Okay? Another thing, Prof, let's move on. Okay. Rehearsal or practice is a time to listen. Rehearsal is a time to play. So magkaiba po yun. So during, uh, uh, during practices natin, this, this should be the time na you are, you know, prior to the rehearsal day, pinakinggan mo, pinakinggan mo, inaral mo lahat. You need to understand, ina-understand mo yung, yung, yung sequence, yung song map. Okay? Because you're trying to listen. Pag sinabi natin song map, ano ba yun? Ilang beses yung chorus? Ilang beses yung verse? Okay? Meron bang eh, instrumentation or instrumental bago mag-bridge? So yun yun. It's a time to listen. It's the time to practice. Pero during the time of rehearsal, that is not the time. Okay? That is not the time to, to rehearse. I mean, that is not the time to practice. Sorry. Okay? That is not the time to practice. Pagdating natin sa rehearsal, that's the time of playing together. Not a, not a time of listening. Of course, you listen with one another. Pero when I say listen, is yung kailangan mo pang aralin uli, o balikan uli, o, kasi, o sabihin na, na, natin na inaaral mo pala, ah, ito yung song na to. Kasi dapat prior to rehearsal, everything is mapped out. Again, everything is mapped out. Okay, so uh, moving on, rehearsal versus services. Okay, let me read this to you. Rehearsal is the place where we find out how well we've practiced. Okay, it's one thing to play through a song at home. Okay, and it's uh, where there is no uh, distraction and with the ability to start, stop, and slow down anytime. Okay, here's the thing. Sa bahay kasi, pag nagpa-practice tayo, okay, madaling huminto. Kapag nagkamali, pwedeng umulit. Sa bahay kasi, pag nagpa-practice tayo, kapag nagkamali tayo, okay lang. Okay? Um, pwede tayong madistract, okay? huminto, magpahinga, pero iba sa rehearsal. If you attend rehearsal, tapos hindi mo alam yung tinutugtog mo, anong mangyayari? Parati kayong hihinto, pahihintuin kayo ng music director, pahihintuin kayo ng worship leader, and affected lahat. Pero sa rehearsal, kasi hindi ganun eh. We cannot slow down. Bakit? Meron tayong strict time. Na ang rehearsal is only one hour. Okay? So, para, para maggawa mo yung ibang uh, gawain mo, mag, uh, and then chores mo, or responsibilities mo sa family mo, you need to stick with that time frame. Kaya lang kapag hindi nyo inaral sa personal practice ang, ang mga dapat nyong itugtok, ang nangyayari pagdating na rehearsal, hinto ng hinto. Ay, nagkamali si lead guitar, hinto. Ay, nagkamali si keyboardist, hinto. Ay, hindi sa ulo ang singers, hinto. Paulit ng paulit. Then we are creating what? A, a, a habit na pinuprolong na natin. So yung time frame na one hour, humahaba ng humahaba. Kasi hindi practicado. Again, yung rehearsal is the proving of what you have practiced. Kapag wala kang na-practice, you, you don't have anything to prove. Hello? <laughs> Next slide, Prof. Hallelujah. Okay. Rehearsal versus services. Your practice time is a personal investment in a great rehearsal. Okay? Remember, if each individual member uh, comes to the rehearsal prepared, you have a good rehearsal. If you have a good rehearsal, you will have a quality worship service. Kasi nag-invest ka for that rehearsal by doing practices. Okay? Pero pag hindi ka nag-practice, you will be a catalyst of what? A bad rehearsal. And a bad rehearsal can lead to a bad quality of worship service. Remember this, a rehearsal 
is a picture of what you are going to do during the worship service. So if your picture of rehearsal is a bad rehearsal, you, you are creating a picture of what a worship service is kinaumagahan kasi hindi kayo pre -pre prepared. Okay? Lastly, so no, so we don't uh, dapat practice at rehearsal. Tama yun. But can you rehearse during practice? Okay ba yun, ha? So sabi ko, there should be no practicing during rehearsal. Because practice is personal, rehearsal is relational. But you can rehearse during practice. So paano natin nire-rehearse ang mga bagay-bagay when it comes to uh, our practice? So kapag alam mo na yung kanta, kapag ano, uh, na alam mo na yung song map and you're instrumentalist or you are singer, okay, kapag i-rehearse mo siya during practice, instead of sitting down, you, you stand up, okay, you, you can face the mirror so that, you know, you can picture your facial expression during worship, pwede mo siyang ma-rehearse, okay? So, uh, Pastor, are you telling us na we can be fake during Sunday uh, service? No, I'm not telling that. But you can rehearse this thing so that mas mabibless sa yung tao. Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na stage aesthetics. Okay? Dapat meron, marunong tayo uh, humarap sa tao. Kasi kapag ang nakikita natin sa kanila, uh, na, sa, sa, pag, pag nakikita nila sa inyo ay walang confidence, they will not they will not go with you. They will not journey with you in praise and worship. Okay? So kapag nagraran ka, mag-isa, you can look from your music and imagine a congregation. Again, nagpa-practice ka lang nito. Ah, so you can rehearse it. Na kapag tinutugtog mo, tignan mo. Okay? Na you are in front of a congregation. So you, you need to minister. Okay? Lalo na mga kapatid, ngayon na virtual ang praise and worship. Malalaman mo na walang confidence ang isang tao na naglilid ng worship sa virtual kapag hindi niya kayang tumingin sa camera. Okay? Kapag hindi niya to kayang tumingin sa harap. Kasi napipicture niya na dapat yung congregation eh. Okay? And then, another thing, how do you rehearse when it comes to uh, practicing? Okay? Magkaroon ka ng click track. Okay? Para meron kang timing. Okay? You can move around, practice mo yung gagawin mo kasi hindi pwedeng robot ka na, nasa isang pwesto ka lang, especially kapag guitarist ka, you can move kapag uh, worship leader ka, you can move okay, so that you can engage <clears throat> okay, hindi pwede kasi hindi, hindi ka maka, a person nakakita na ba kayo ng robot na talagang nag engage No, di ba? Sa, sa ro, ang robot kasi, you have to program them in order for them to move Hindi tayo robot. Okay? Tao tayo. So, tayo kailangan pumilos. Kailangan mag-engage tayo. Okay? Don't play or sing with the recording of the song once you learn it. Okay? Importante yon. Kasi kapag ikaw yung tipo ng tao na uh, ang sinasabayan mo lang parati yung original, ang nakikreate mo is something na canned. You, if you really learned or practiced a certain song, you will know na ang person na practice niya ang kanta kapag he can play with the song. Ibig sabi ng play with the song, you can go beyond yung certain song map. You can do, you can change the melodic lines kasi sa sobrang naaral mo siya, okay, kaya mo mag-adlib. Hindi yung tunog kan, tunog uh, tawag nito, uh, talagang uh, kung ano lang, Yung MP3 yun lang, hindi. Hindi tapat ganon. Okay? So, let's... Uh, uh, that. Okay. So, yun yung uh, uh, idea natin when it comes to practice and rehearsal. Magkaiba po yun, mga kapatid. Sa mga bagong uh, connect po dito sa live natin, um, I, I, I advise you to join the Zoom para makita nyo po yung PowerPoints natin. Kasi pag dito, hindi, hindi nyo makikita yung PowerPoints. So, uh, Currently, we have 50 participants sa ating uh, Zoom. So, praise God for, for your uh, time, guys. Um, okay. For, for our last uh, topic for tonight, okay. Um, engaging with music. Kasi talagang serious to. Ang daming kailangan natin pag-aralan. Or mga lessons when it comes to, ano, 
pag-aaralan po natin yan sometime uh, later, um, next 